Hi, my friends. Thank you for logging in into Jazz Crochet Test. Uh, we are going to learn to make this beautiful booty. And you're going to need two balls of yarn, colors of your choice. Today, I'll be using two hooks, two hook sizes 5.50 and 4.5. This one, oh, the 4.5, I'll use it for the white part. This one since the yarn is a bit thin and i'll be using the 5.5 millimeter hook for the bottom to make it a bit sturdy like you can see so to begin our work i'm going to use two strands of yarn to do that you you pull out the inner part and the outer part and put them together so that you don't have to use two balls of yarn we'll chain 10 um i'm still reminding you to subscribe if you've not done so and if you've done and if you've subscribed thank you very much keep watching and sharing the videos with your friends because more nice things are coming your way and let's keep growing together so we chain 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 So these are my 10 chains and in the second stitch of the hook this is the first one this is the second one you put two half double crochets one and two put one half double crochet in each of the next seven stitches one Three, four, five, six, and seven. In the next stitch, right here, the last one, you're putting five half double crochets. Uh, insert your hook here and we are working over this in this first stitch we are working over that string so that is our half one half double crochet go ahead and put four more in the same space one two three and four put one half double crochet in them in each of the next seven stitches one two three four and seven we have we've been working over this so seven in the last space here put two half double crochets one two then slip stitch round you're going to chain one and put two half double crochets in the very first space here where you've slip stitched one and two put one half double crochet in each of the next eight spaces eight in the next five stitches round here you're going to put two half double crochets in each put two half double crochets in each which is the first one two 
Next eight stitches, put one half double crochet in each, one half double crochet in each of the next eight spaces, two and eight. In the last stitch, put two half double crochets. stitching in the first half double crochet we made here right here next round chain one put two half double crochet in the first space where you've slip stitched right here one and two two half double crochets in the next space one two in the next nine stitches put one half double crochet in each two three eight and nine The next stitch put two half double crochets one and two followed by one half double crochet in the next stitch one followed by two half double crochets in the next stitch one and two put one half double crochet in the next space two half double crochets in the next space one and two followed by one half double crochet in the next space one two half double crochets in the next one and two one half double crochet in the next and two half double crochets in the next space one and two then put one half double crochet in the next nine spaces one half double crochet in each of the nine next spaces that's one two eight and nine put two half double crochets in the last space one and two join your work by slip stitching in the first half double crochet we made here so that's our sole for round four we are chaining one and we are putting one half double crochet all around but working in the back loop only back loop i mean this is the front loop and this is the back loop this is the front this is the back we're working in the back loop only putting one half double crochet all around starting with this very stitch where i've slip stitched so you yarn over and insert your hook in the back loop only i love working i love digging deep and go through even the other stitch down here like that if you go in deep you see it so that's one the next one two continue like that all around and find you here yeah. round five we chain one and two 
put one half double crochet in the very first space where you've slip stitched so these two stitches do not act as a stitch and put one half double crochet in each of the next 12 stitches So that makes a total of 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. In the next stitches, you're going to be working two double crochets together, okay? So that, that means you're working in two stitches each time, two double crochets, putting them together. That means it should be six times of two double crochets together, okay? So yarn over, set your hook in the next stitch. Go through the first two loops, yarn over, get to the next stitch, pull out a yarn and go through the first two, then go through the three loops, do that five more times. The next 13 stitches, you're putting one half double crochet in each. Two, three, continue to the 13th one, and then you slip stitch in the first half double crochet you made on this round. So this is the 13th and then slip stitch in the first half double crochet we made right here. Okay. Uh, chain two, one, two. Again, this is not does not act as a, a double crochet, a half double crochet. Uh, put one half double crochet in each of the next 13 stitches, starting with this one this very one so that in. Uh, with the next stitch you're going to be put into half double in the next stitch you're going to be put into double crochets together The next stitch still do that same two double crochets together. In the next two stitches, put two double crochets together. Then the rest of the stitches put one half double crochet and slip stitch when you reach the end. So this is the end and you slip stitch here. The first half double crochet we made at the round. Next round, chain two, and put one half double crochet in the 13th 
chain stitches starting with this very one one half double crochet in each of the next 13 two three so this is the 13th stitch and in the next stitch put one half double crochet like that the next two stitches put two double crochets together one two and then join them together then put one half double crochet in the other 13 stitches then slip stitch in the first half double crochet of the round now we're going to chain one and cut off the yarn we are starting on the upper part now this is where I join the white yarn and I'm switching the hooks to 4.5 millimeters um, just get the middle of this if you do this you find the middle of the shoe right here in the back that's where you insert your yarn then chain three one two three and put this does not act as a double crochet and insert one double crochet in each stitch around just do that, insert one double crochet and each stitch around. So I've reached here. We are slip stitching in that first double crochet we made. We are not counting this as a stitch. So in the first double crochet we made here, a slip stitch. Chain three. One, two, three. Turn your work. Put one double crochet in the next stitch right here. Okay, and put continue putting one double crochet in all the stitches around and after this round you're going to make three more rounds of the same stitch of one double crochet in each stitch around I meet you there And just remind you on the next round, please do not turn your work. Just continue like that. When you reach your slip stitch, when you reach the, the end, you slip stitch and continue. Reach the fifth round. So we slip stitching in the first double crochet we made here. Uh, for the next step, we're chaining three. One, two, three. And put two double crochets in the very same stitch. One, two, chain one, put three double crochets in this very space. One, two, and three. Skip the next stitch right here and in the second one here, slip stitch. That's a slip stitch. Slip stitch in the next space right here and chain three. One, two, three. Put two double crochets in this very space. One and two. Chain one and put three more double crochets in the same space. One. And three. Skip the next space, this one, and slip stitch in the next one. Uh, slip stitch in the following space, right here. And chain three. One, two, three. Put two more double crochets in the same space. 
one, and two, chain one, and put three more double crochets in the very same space. You can tell that we've been repeating the same thing here. So I'll show you one more time and then you continue around. We meet at the end. Um, skip the next space and slip stitch in the following one like that. Slip stitch in the next one as well. Then chain three, one, two, three, put two double crochets in here. One and two. Chain one and put three double crochets in the same space. So you're going to continue two and three. So you're continuing like that. You realize we've been doing the same thing. The first three chains count as a stitch. So that means there is three double crochets in here. Chain one and put three more double crochets in the same space. Skip the next space. Slip stitch in the next one and slip stitch in the next one. Chain three and put two more double crochets in the very same space. Chain one and put three more double crochets in the same space. And continue like that I meet you at the end right here okay I'll show you what to do so I've reached here at the end of if you look here I've made my shell stitch here skip the next stitch skipped the next stitch and slip stitched in the following one slip stitch again so you're going to realize that if i do my three chains and put the shell stitch one two there will be no space to slip stitch here or yeah there will be no space to slip stitch here so what are you doing here if you have the same stitches as mine you put one stitch, one chain here, this count as a stitch, and two double crochets. Don't complete the shell stitch, don't put three more double crochets. Just go ahead and slip stitch here. Okay. The slip stitch, and that's it. So chain one and cut off your yarn. So this is how your work should be looking like. Then you're going to count here one and two, and at that second stitch here is where you're going to fold your work like that. Okay. And boom. That's our booty right there. Now we let's do the last part. You get your white here. And join it. This this should be three rounds. One, two, three. And make sure they are properly folded up like that. There should be a space where they you fold where it folds, insert your hook and join your, your yarn and put a single crochet not in this space but rather here if you insert your hook here you're going to fill the space there and put a single crochet you continue like that you see right there, you see that little space here, not here, but rather here, and do a single crochet all around, 
and slip stitch when you get to the beginning of the single crochet chain you've started the round with so continue with the single crochet all around so i've come to the end slip stitch in the first single crochet we made here chain one and cut the yarn off That is our shoe and please go ahead and sew in all the ends in these ones here if you do not work over them like me and that's our pair right here if you want please you can go ahead and put an applique here i think that's what i'm going to do thank you for watching and please go ahead and subscribe and click the notification button go ahead and comment let me know what you think about the issue is it easy is it hard for you is there any help you need if you have questions go ahead and put them in the comment section below and see you next time bye bye i love you god does too